guys, I'm finally doing a top 10 video about Sonic the Hedgehog. And judging by the title of this video, you probably already know where this is going. Everyone, this is Rabbius Blog, and welcome to my top 10 video series. So, in celebration of Sonic the Hedgehog's 30th anniversary, today's top 10 video I'll be doing today is my top 10 darkest Sonic the Hedgehog moments in the games. And before I get into this, here are a few words from the channel. Alright everybody, it's time to get on the social media train. Wanna chat with me in 100 words or less? Then check out my Twitter account. Wanna talk about movies, TV shows, and video games within the group? Then check out my Facebook account. Wanna check out some of my ultra cool fan art? Then check out my DeviantArt page. Want to get the lowdown on everything that's happening on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So, the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise is well known as being a kid-friendly franchise. But did you guys know that there was a lot of dark moments that happened throughout the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise? Most of them dealing with cities getting burned? So, I wanted to list my top 10 darkest moments from the Sonic the Hedgehog video games. And of course, this is not going to include the moments from the TV shows, or the comic books, or even the movie. I will have separate lists for those. But anyway, here are a few disclaimers. Number one, there will be massive spoilers in this video. So if you haven't played any of these games before, you might want to before you watch this video. Number two, I haven't played all these games yet. So I will state which games I haven't played yet and which games I have played. So there might be some games that are not on this list and that's because I haven't played those games yet. So if you're wondering why a certain moment is not on this list, it's probably because I haven't played that game yet. And number three, this video is based off of my personal opinions, so there might be some moments on this list that you guys might not agree with. So if there are any other dark moments in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game franchise that you think should have been on this list, please let me know in the comments down below. And now let's get started with this video. So in the first level of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is Angel Island, we get to see Dr. Robotnik actually bomb the entire forest of Angel Island and Sonic and Tails are forced to go through this fiery inferno throughout the forest to get to the end of the level. Now I have to say that this is probably one of the first dark moments that happened in the franchise as you have Dr. Robotnik practically bomb a forest and then you have Sonic and Tails trying to run through this fiery inferno just to get to the end of the level. And I have to say that that was quite dark at the time because at the time that this game was released, there wasn't a lot of dark moments that happened in the previous two Sonic the Hedgehog games. And the fact that you have Dr. Robotnik actually burning up a forest just to get to Sonic and Tails was a really dark moment moment for the series at the time and it was one that really shocked me to this very day. So Knuckles Chaotix was a game I haven't played because I didn't have the Sega 32X which is the console that this game was available on but I have heard a lot about Metal Sonic in this game and his transformation to this red demonic machine that he becomes in the final boss and one of the darkest things that happened in this game is the bad ending of this game. So if you didn't collect all the Chaos Rings as I think they're called in this game then what's going to happen in the bad end is that you see Metal Sonic in his red demonic form and you see him hovering over the city that's on fire and then it has this intense music playing over the background and I have to say that, that moment was really intense and terrifying at the same time because for one you see the city burning to the ground and then another you see Metal Sonic's red demonic form just hovering over the city just staring at you menacingly and I will admit that this scene gave me chills to this very day. So Sonic Lost World was another game that I didn't play before but I have read up on the summary of this game and the darkest moment in this game was when the Deadly Six takes over Eggman's machine and they end up draining the planet of its energy and this ends up almost killing both Knuckles and Amy. But another dark thing about the scene was how it affected Sonic throughout the game. So throughout most of the video games Sonic is portrayed as being this very optimistic and fun loving guy and we rarely see him get angry or get upset at something. 
But this game actually shows Sonic being really upset about the whole thing and how he's blaming himself for what happened. Because at the beginning of the game, he kicked away the conch shell, which was trying to keep the Deadly Six under control. And for that, he blames himself for what's going on with the Earth. And I was really shocked by that development, especially since we saw Sonic the Hedgehog for the first time actually being really upset about his actions. And the fact that he's trying to make up for it throughout the game was really intense. So I have to say that this is one of the darkest moments, not only because almost everybody gets killed in this game, but also because of how it affected Sonic personally. So Shadow of the Hedgehog was an okay game. Like, I will say that it tried too hard to be so dark and edgy, and it just didn't work out in the game's favor. But I will admit that the gameplay is a bit interesting in this game, because with this game, you choose to decide if Shadow should be the villain, or if he should be the good guy, or he should be in the middle or neutral. And one of the endings with this game is that if you become a bad guy, then Shadow gets to kill Dr. Eggman. And I have to say that's a really dark moment because of how Dr. Eggman was screaming in terror when Shadow kills him. And the fact that you have Shadow the Hedgehog actually kill Dr. Eggman, the main antagonist of the game series, was really startling. And I have to say that this is one of the darkest moments in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So I thought that Sonic Unleashed was a decent game, like the story was pretty good. My only problem with it was that we didn't have Amy or Tails be playable characters, but anyway that's another video for another time. But one of the most disturbing things about the Sonic Unleashed game is when Sonic was fighting against Dark Gaia. So for one thing you have Dark Gaia's transformation to this horrifying creature, like you have his face just kind of break out all these little tongue like things that opens up his eyes. And then another disturbing part about this boss battle is that Sonic has to hit Dark Gaia in his eyes just to defeat him. And then you get to see a lot of green blood spewing out as Sonic hits Dark Gaia in the eyes. And I have to say that that's probably the most disturbing part about this whole boss fight is that Sonic is basically impaling the bad guy in his eyes just to defeat him. So yeah, I have to say this boss fight was not only traumatizing but also disturbing at the same time. So even though Sonic Forces wasn't that great of a game, you have to admit that the part where Dr. Eggman finally succeeds in taking over the world was a pretty dark part of the game. Like for the last few games, Dr. Eggman was never able to defeat Sonic and take over the world like he wanted to. But in this game, you actually have Dr. Eggman succeed in taking over the world and the world just looks terrible because of that. So I have to say Dr. Eggman taking over the world finally in Sonic Forces is probably one of the darkest things to happen in the franchise. Now, I played Sonic CD a little bit when I was little, and I have to say that it was a pretty interesting game. But one of the most frightening things about this game, besides the bad future, was this fun is infinite screen. And basically, it's just a screen that you get to where you put in this special code into the game. And once you put in that code, they take you to the screen where you see Sonic against a black background. And what's so disturbing about this is that you get to see Sonic's face, and it looks like that he has a realistic human face. And he's like doing this thing, but his face just looks so disturbing because it's a realistic human face on his cartoonist body against a black background. But the worst thing about this particular screen is the game over music that's playing over it. Like you guys know about the American game over music for Sonic CD and how disturbing it sounded. And the fact that the music is playing over this disturbing looking screen just makes this screen really nightmare inducing. Now I will admit, I did not care much for Sonic 06. I think that it is one of the worst games ever made. Like there was a lot of glitches in that game. But if there was one thing that really stood out to me in this game was that Sonic the Hedgehog actually got killed in this game. 
So it turns out that Mephiles the Dark ends up coming out of nowhere and he shoots Sonic in his chest and ends up killing him just to get a tear from Princess Elise. And that moment really shocked me because not only did we actually see somebody get killed in the game, but it's Sonic the Hedgehog himself who gets killed. So that was something that really shocked me. So of course the blow is lessened a bit as Sonic ends up being brought back to life later on because of course Sega's not going to kill off the mascot like that. But yeah, I have to say that this moment was still shocking just because it's Sonic himself who ends up getting killed, even if it's for a brief moment. So in Sonic Adventure, we get to learn more about Knuckles' background, and we get to learn about what happened to the Echidna tribe and why Knuckles is the last of his kind. And it turns out that Chaos, who's a water god, ended up killing the Echidna tribe when the Echidna tribe tried to attack his temple. And I have to say that that's one of the most shocking moments I've seen in any Sonic the Hedgehog game, especially at that point. There was no other Sonic the Hedgehog game before that where a lot of people got slaughtered. But the fact that we actually had a Sonic game where a whole group of people ends up getting slaughtered by this water god was really shocking to me at the time and really made this game pretty dark in comparison to the previous Sonic the Hedgehog games that came out before it. Oh my god, I have to say that Dr. J Robotics execution in Sonic Adventure 2 was probably the darkest thing to happen in any Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So what happened in the scene is that Dr. J Robotic is captured by Gun. And before that, his granddaughter Maria was actually shot to death by one of the ages of Gun. And also during this scene, we get to read Gerald Robotic's diary and how he talks about how he started going insane after Maria's death. And then we see Gun tie up Gerald Robotic in chains. And as we see Gerald Robotic just looking down and sorrow while he's in chains, the Gun agent starts shooting him up. Even though we don't really see Gerald Robotic get shot, but we do hear the gunshots. And I have to say that this is the darkest moment in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise because one, it involves the execution of a character, which was something we never seen before in any Sonic the Hedgehog game. And two, you could just hear the despair with Gerald Robotnik as he's clearly traumatized by Maria's death. And we get to hear the sore in his voice as he's like, you know, I went insane because my granddaughter got killed. So what else can I do but try to end the world? So just hearing all of that despair in Gerald Robotnik's voice after Maria got killed and then he gets executed afterwards was really dark for this franchise. And I have to say this is the darkest moment in the history of Sonic the Hedgehog. So those are my top 10 darkest moments from the Sonic the Hedgehog video game franchise. And I have to say that I'm actually surprised by how dark this series can get. Like you've seen a lot of people get killed as the series goes on. Or you see Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman actually blow up a city just so he could defeat Sonic. I have to say a lot of these moments were pretty dark. And that's what I liked about the series is that it can be dark at times as well as being hilarious at the same time. So I appreciate the series for trying to juggle the darkness and the lightness at the same time. So those are my top 10 darkest moments in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series. And tell me in the comments down below, what were some of your darkest moments in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rabbi's Blog, and I'll see you guys later.